Evil 2. Okay, cool. So they do have uh, different data for the normal and the uh, the arranged game. That's sorry, I'm messing with my volume as I say this. That's neat. Um, of course, I turned on the wrong volume. No, no, no! I don't have any arranged. No, no! I don't have any arranged data. <laughs> Whoops. Meant. <laughs> I hit X to go back. I don't even know why I would do that. I mean, that's makes no sense. And plus, this is not Metal Gear Solid. Anyway, we're going to go to the dark room. That's where we left off. That's right. You once again stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. <laughs> Turn off my lights. This has got to be true horror. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very special episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with MioX Fu. And, well, as you might have guessed, since uh, I included that you once, once again have stepped into the world of survival horror, um, this is a new session. Um, I know it might sound... So, so, I know that it might sound odd for me to announce it like that, uh, for those of you that are new, um, there's not a reason. Oh, I keep hitting B. Now that I said this is not Metal, Metal Gear Solid, I keep mixing it up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> um, so for those of you that are new, I'm probably going to be doing this quite a lot. Okay, we've got nothing else in the item box right yet. Um, just because, well, it gets you all ready for this. So last time, as we began Resident Evil 2, um. Oh, well, we made our way to the police station as Leon Kennedy after we found out that Claire Redfield... We found Claire Redfield and we got separated. Oh, a special type of key is required. How about this one? Same thing. Hmm. Oh, yes, we found that out last episode. And we found out that, well, the city's overrun with zombies. I mean, we found that out last game, that the mansion's overrun with zombies, and it's two months later, so of course the city's overrun with zombies. Um, and this is... Apparently, Leon Kennedy's first week. Oh, wow, that is a dark door. Um, I'm actually... Pl I actually found out that the... Oh, that's right. The reason I thought the game... No, get off. The reason I actually thought the game was so dark was because my TV was set to a brighter setting than it should have. So, it, did, it looked darker on the preview screen than my TV. Aha! You're still alive. I see you breathing. Come on. Okay, that was a waste of a bullet, Leon. Way to go. Might as well reload while we're at it. Alright. Why is my volume so low? There we go. I could barely hear the gunshots. Let's get out our trusty knife. That we'll always carry around because... Turn a little, because we can do that. We can do that. It's going through him. Is he actually dead? Am I going to walk up to him and he's just going to be like, ah, blah, 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 blah. Your feet are tasty. No, he is actually dead. Huh. Huh. That's a nice change for once. Well, since we're here... Ooh, what's this on the wall? Don't leave the darkroom door open. Hmm. Well, I guess the only reason why we have safe area in the dark room is because nobody left the door open. He's looking at those bodies. Is there something we can pick up? Is this, uh... Oh, no, he's... Uh, Leon, why, why are you... Oh, left back dark room. Okay, I was wondering why, why are you so interested in those zombie bodies? I'm going over and pressing X, seeing if there's anything. I'm assuming... Copy paper and office supplies. That this is, uh... You're, he's looking at for um, at things that you can pick up. I can't remember which game does that. It might be Silent Hill 2 that you get the same thing. Um... Probably a bad, uh... Assumption to make, but, uh... I don't know. That's the closest... Besides Resident Evil 1, that's the closest game I've played. 
uh, to this one. So, I'm gonna, ma I'm gonna zoom away. Alright, so there was nothing in those guys. Uh, is this anything over here? No. It's too dark to see anything outside. Um, anyway, we found that there is a new Resident Evil zombie enemy called a Licker, which has an exposed brain and has a tongue that can pierce a human body. Lovely stuff. Uh, <laughs> very lovely. Is there anything else we could do up here? We got that jewel. Oh my god, that thing was a pain in the ass. Actually, let's look at the map. Maybe it'll jog my memory a bit. Alright, so we did go into that room. Ah, that's right, we couldn't go any farther because of the key. We need a key. And I'm assuming the red jewels are going to play some part in that. But for now, let's just keep going back to where we were. Um... How long have I been going? Only about five minutes. Okay. So you must excuse me if it takes me a few minutes to get back on my feet, because, uh, well, it's going to take me a few minutes to get back on my feet. That's really the only excuse that I have for it. Alright, where are we? Aha, this leads back to where we were before. This leads back past that, uh, that briefing room, I think it was, uh, with the fireplace. Is there anything further down the hall? Probably. Aha! Here we go. It's locked. A diamond is etched under the keyhole. Alright, so we can't go that way yet. So I guess we have to head back. Uh, no problem. We do a running swipe at all. No, only... Ah, we get a stop again. Oh well. Did we check out this grate? I think we did. Yeah, ventilation shaft is dark inside. Ooh. Can I just say, can I just say, I really like this music. This is the, uh, deep foreboding music. It's much better than, um, Resident Evil 1 as far as scary music goes. Oh, god, no, 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 no. Get off, 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 get off. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, they're off. Um, stay away from those windows, I guess. Jeez. Ah, oh, I should have known that from Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> That's how one of them dies. I've known that from plenty of zombie movies. That's a pretty common death in zombie movies, actually, now that I think of it. Um, was there anything in this we missed? Maybe. Ah, did we check the whiteboard? Looks like there was a recent accident here. Ah, uh, okay. Was there anything else we learned last episode? Ah, yes, we learned, um... There are other survivors in the police... Pr in the precinct, um, that we should get out before we save this one guy that is... Well, he locked himself away in a room. Um... Although we're not finding any survivors, so maybe... They've all died in that time. The other thing is, we were supposed to meet Claire Redfield here, so... Hoping we'll find her at some point. And the good thing is, I know that this is a Resident Evil game, so the random, random sounds, the random bumps in the night in the, uh, in the soundtrack, I can just ignore, because if they happen off screen, well, you can be sure that the camera cuts to what's going on. Now, even if they happen on screen, you can be sure that Leon will stop and be like, oh my god, something's happening. Or at least it'll focus on. The baddie of some description. Ha! I learned from you. Oh my god, he's like the... No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He's like the, uh, the enemy from the... What is it? The bottom of the well in Ocarina of Time? With all those hands that come up and grab you and he comes and eats your face? Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> so you only see him once in that game. Well, um... That is Ocarina of Time, right? I don't think you see him in Majora's Mask at all. Nothing special. Are we gonna have to fight another liquor? Sorry, my audio just skipped a beat and I wanna make sure I didn't lose any frames. Spade is etched under the keyhole, so we can't do anything there. Head is missing, seems to have been twisted off. Oh yes, what is this? An open closed switch for the shutter. It can't be activated since the cord is cut. Huh. 
That's too bad. I would rest much easier if we'd been able to, well, fix that. Now I want to I want to check what that thing is on the wall because it seems like there are a lot of things on the wall that I can check. Memos have been posted. Nothing useful. Oh man! All right, let's just head back then. Doesn't seem like there's anything particularly useful down this way. I'm just hoping that there's nobody going to jump out at me. Actually, is that a door in the side of this thing? No, it's just the way the paneling meets. I wonder if... Th oh no, that's just a desk. Okay, I was gonna say, I wonder if there's some way to get back there. Nothing out of the ordinary. I still think there's gotta be something. Some... something I do with this pillar in the middle. It's an office over by the reception desk. Did we actually get in here? Oh, yes, yes, we did. That was the uh, the other door, wasn't it? Alright, so let's be head back to the main hall, I guess. I suppose. Oh, those are Chris's footsteps. I was wondering what that noise was. That is... wow, those are... that is pretty... Those are pretty heavy footsteps, Leon. <laughs> Oh, man. Did I call him Chris just a second ago? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> that would be embarrassing in, the, in some other sort of situation. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what's behind. We went this way, I thought. Didn't we? Yeah, this was by the phones. And then you get the office, the reception desk, all that jazz. I don't think there would have been something we missed. We opened up the... What's this on the floor? Did we check that? It's just an ashtray, I think. Um, yeah, because we got the... the, the what, did, what did we get from the safe? I think we only got the first aid spray from the safe, and then there was another shotgun in there. Maybe? I don't remember. Um, hmm. Yeah, we went through here. There's nothing we could open back here, that's right. So, um, I'm guessing we have to go back to that guy, maybe? Maybe? And, uh... Tell him, well, no, you were wrong. There are no other survivors. Sorry. Unless there's somewhere else we can go. So I'm thinking we should do that. Unless it's still locked. In that case, I got no idea. Maybe go out, check the, uh... The surrounding area a bit. Because I know there was, um, there were a couple places we ha we, we didn't actually check. Actually, I want to check this right quick. This, um, an old fountain, something is written here. To obtain the key to open your heart, I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. That's right, we need the unicorn emblem. I know enough from the last game to know that. <laughs> Alright, so let's check. It's locked from inside, so... Not getting in there anytime soon. And there's no door over here. Um, oh man, I just like how off key the bells are as well. Like they're elongated, so it's just like. Just makes everything more that more creepy. It's so cathedral like in there, too, the creepiness. Alright, let's see. Ooh, this is nice music, too. I just didn't notice. Is there anything? Oh! Steps! Here we go. What's down here? Alright, so this is just the alleyway beside, uh, Raccoon City? Police Department? Yeah, okay, this leads us to the back. Alright. I don't know if that gate was open before we, uh, went into the station or not. Oh! This just leads us back around. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the back. Alright, run, run, run by, run by. Oh, these controls, these tank controls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was not a half circle. That was not a half circle. That is not... That... No. That is not how geometry works, game. <laughs> oh, that's... That's... Oh my god, that's great. Alright. So... The other thing we found was uh, the star's office. Um, upstairs. Hmm. I'm gonna check our files, actually. See if there's anything, uh, police memorandum, operation report. Nothing, nothing. If there's anything in the operation report that was important? Um... I don't think so. Yeah, you gotta find the, um, the car key used to open access to weapon storage is missing and we have been unable, unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It's become a trial priority to restore the power in the power room and secure those locks. So, um, I guess that is our main objective at this point. I don't know. This is the part of the uh, series where I start bumbling about because I don't know where exactly we're supposed to go. We had a very good first go. Um, we're not dead. <laughs> now I've just got to figure out what I'm supposed to do <laughs> besides looking for survivors. So I think I'm going to go back up to those top rooms. Hmm. What is this? Is this something? No, that's just a decal on the wall, it looks like. Hmm. I don't think I can do anything with the shutter box right now. At least I haven't picked up anything that I that it seems like I can use. Uh, we got to go past the zombie hands again. Are they going to be just as grabby? No? Huh. Well, I'm okay with that. I don't, I'm not, I'm not very, uh, I'm not very open to the thought of being grabbed, not in this scenario, but, you know, I mean, could have thrown me for a loop. <laughs> Alright, let's go back up to the stars room, see if there's anything we l overlooked, just because I was not in the best of minds. You know, I'm, it's a new Resident Evil game. I'm kind of panicking at this <laughs> when I'm playing it. There wasn't anything over here, was there? No. You know, maybe there was a hallway that I just missed somehow. I can't open this door? No. It seems to be sealed from the other side. I'm assuming there's a body on the other side just leaning against it so I can't open it. And that's what the blood stain is from. Is there anything over here? No, just the cigarettes and stuff. That's the stars room. Was there anything over here? No. And then didn't this lead outside? Oh, no, wait. Oh, there's the handcuffs. Could take those. <laughs> oh man. If only there was just a lone zombie sitting there handcuffed. It's locked. A spade is etched under the keyhole. That's right. Anything... I'm assuming that uh, Leon is part of Stars. At least his uniform looks different than the other officers. So I'm assuming that the uh, the desk that he said looks like a rookie's because it's Messi's. I, th I think it's this one. Picture of a young man. It's a good chance it's her boyfriend. I'm assuming that's either. I'm assuming that's Rebecca. Oh, hey, what's this? Chris's diary. Wait. Isn't Chris is up at the front? Oh no, that's Wesker's, that's right. Except Wesker's evil, and he died. So wouldn't Chris be up at the front? Anyway. Oh, now we gotta do a Chris impression. Oh, oh, oh. 
Rebecca. Chris. Rebecca. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted the T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns into a zombie. But the entire mansion went up in that explosion, along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of, of local reports about strange monsters appearing at random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry, I finally obtained information vital to this case. Oh! Barry... <clears throat> Excuse me. Barry's alive. I've completely forgot about Barry because I didn't play Jill's story yet. Um... Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? Um, we talked it over and have decided to fly to the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so would put her, could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Yeah, because, you know, leaving her didn't put her in danger either. Oh, unicorn metal, thank you. Oh, now I know what we're supposed to do. Jeez. Leon! Claire! It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us oh, to stay go. any longer than necessary. Let's split up Look for any survivors and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. Ah, are we going to play as Claire now? That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. All right, who are we? Who are we? Ah, oh, we're Leon. Ah, oh, darn it. Is Claire essentially going to be the Rebecca of this game? I hope not. I kind of do want to play as, you know, spunky girl. <laughs> uh, now that we have the unicorn uh, medallion, we can actually, um, we can actually, well, you know, go and, go and, go and unlock, get that key. Alright, so this one's got to be, uh, this one's got to be, um, Rebecca's desk, because it's got the health pack there. I'm guessing this one's Jill's desk, because picture the boyfriend. I'm guessing this is Chris's desk. I can't believe what is happening to this city. I know. Darn it, I want it to be really silly. Nothing suspicious or out of the ordinary, so I'm guessing this one on the other side is Barry's. Yeah, because it's got the replica of the gun and the fishing. And then this one's got to be Wesker's. Ah, that's why it's trash. So Chris searched the desk. Aha! Uh -huh. Probably looking for information on Umbrella. Okay, it's all fitting together. And the problem that I'm having with this game so far is that with Resident Evil 1, it was so over the top that you knew it was just so over the top. This one... Um, and excuse me if I if I get a bit um, lost in my thoughts here. It just seems a bit more... They're taking it a bit more seriously. Um, like, there's still the, the silly things like the zombie being in the car for like three minutes before they had, it attacks Claire and Leon. But that's not too silly. It's not like... The voice acting's much better as well. You, it's actually believable to a certain amount. Like, Claire's voice right then had some sort of emotion in it. <laughs> Unlike how Rebecca, Jill's, or or um, Chris's did in the first game, where it was just like, Jill, or Chris, Rebecca. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm also so glad that my voice can express emotion. Oh, wait, it can't. <laughs> um, we'll see, we'll see. 
We'll see. Um, I could be terribly, terribly wrong. It's just that... It just seems a lot more serious, that's all. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm terribly wrong, because that would be just make it that much better. I mean, I'm not saying it's a good game. I'm, I'm enjoying myself so far. I'm just saying that it might be an actual game rather than a farce. <laughs> Alright, so I put that in. Get some awesome CGI graphics again that just go right away. <laughs> like, look, the thing's already even back. So we take the precinct key that's in the shape of the spade. Alright. Now those. Oh, it's even color coded, so. Oh, whoa, 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 we don't want to use that. Wait. Oh, I hit, <laughs> I hit circle. I wanted to check it. It's the shape of a spade. The what? I can't rotate it? Damn. Alright, so let's go map. I keep hitting circle, because I keep thinking this is Metal Gear Solid. Alright, so we can go in the... Teal um, rooms now. So that opens up the one down the hall from the stars room and the one right on the way. Okay. So, hmm. Now the question becomes do we save before we leave? Uh, I feel like we have not done enough to save, so I'm not gonna. However, I am going to say I will see you guys next time on Let's Play, Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Mio X Fu as we further solve the mystery of the precinct. Um, perhaps, perhaps, I've got an idea before we finish this off. Perhaps a good idea would be to grab that other shotgun and throw it in storage because I have no idea how we're going to be taking control of Claire if um, my assumption that at some point we're willing to take control of her proves right. <laughs> and, well, I just want to make sure that she has access to a shotgun as well, so I'm just going to do that right quick. Did I take care of these guys? Yeah, I did. Good. Oh, that guy's alive. Because, well, he's alive. <laughs> Come on, this was open, right? Oh. Maybe it's not in there. Where was that shotgun, then? I know there was... I know there was a shotgun. Somewhere. Oh, well. It's not too important, I suppose. See you guys next time. Take it easy.